Flowers are nature's way of expressing joy and abundance. They give us a lift every time we look at them. Hi, I'm Vince Butera. My life's work is dedicated to using the beauty of flowers and botanicals to enrich our lives. From the everyday to the most formal events. Because that's Butera's way. Today we're here at the Stone Mill Inn, a wonderful place on the Hellam side of York County. Uh, you're at the Stone Mill and, and it really transports you to another place in time. Very uh, sort of Victorian colonial mix, beautiful gardens. It's, it's a fabulous July Saturday. Uh, sunshine is bright, humidity is not too high. Perfect day for Jennifer and Bernie's wedding, which is going to be held outdoors. Uh, they have chosen very bright, happy flowers using yellows and verdant greens. Uh, we've used sunflowers, kangaroo poles, uh, green trick dianthus and green hypericum berries. And it's a very eco, outdoor, woodsy kind of mix. Uh, fitting of, of their personalities and certainly fitting of what they wanted to achieve today here at the Stone Mill. When we come back on A Sense of Place, Lee Thomas is going to take us on a tour of her private urban garden. My garden is an old English garden. Um, it was pretty mature when I, when I moved in about seven years ago. However, it requires a lot of upkeep if you want to make sure that it doesn't get overrun with the ivy. and. Um, I like to put the geraniums out there and the white impatience around the tree because at night it illuminates the tree and I put the chandelier in the tree uh, with the candles and the fountain next to it so that you have the light and the water and it's a great place to be. Now Dash likes to uh, sit in the chaise lounge out there, actually he's in the lounge before the cushion ever gets on it and then he spends several hours there just relaxing. It's a great place to relax, it's a pretty place to be. It reminds me of Tennessee, and as everybody who knows me, I'm just a little girl from Tennessee, so it's a great garden to be in. The great thing about this is that you get to wear a hat, and you can wear a little party dress, and you say hello to everybody. It's just, you know, warms the cockles of this little old girl from Tennessee's heart where I get to wear my hat. Because once you do something like this, you have a party. You have to have a party because you're already dressed for it, and I've already cleaned, and I'm not cleaning anymore, okay? So if you have a party, it's like a perfect time. And so I think we should have like a surprise party for James on his birthday. What do you think? Everybody? Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear James. Happy birthday to you. Did you know the calla is originally from Africa and grows from rhizomes? It is a very long-lasting flower for cut flower designs and an extremely popular item for today's weddings. Up next, a great recipe from our Tasteful Living section. To begin our Sunday brunch meal, we're going to be making a chilled blueberry basil potage. Uh, what we have here is the infusion that we're going to flavor the, the, uh, the, basil, the basil flavor into the soup. Uh, how that's done is we've taken two cups of water and four ounces of sugar or, or half a cup of sugar. We've brought that to a boil and we've added two cups of packed basil leaves. And then what we want to do, just take the, just to steep the flavors out of, out of the basil so we can put it off to the side to chill or we can put it in an ice bath and then we'll strain it and we'll have the flavor into the, uh, into the infusion, into the, into the liquid. Now we'll take our, our infusion that we've strained and we're going to add it to four ounces of sour cream. We're going to be adding actually two tablespoons and one tablespoon of a super fine sugar. 
Superfine sugar is a uh, sometimes called bar sugar. It's an instant dissolving. You just want to stir that around till it's smooth. Okay. And that's that's that. And we'll put this, we'll just keep this uh, chilled in the refrigerator until we're ready to use it. Next, we're going to be uh, doing the soup itself. What we have here are, is one quart of fresh blueberries. We'll be using two cups of the, in, the basil infusion. And then we'll check for sugar uh, at the end. OK, so we'll put the blueberries in. OK. And um, of course, you've, we've washed these blueberries ahead of time. We add the infusion here. Okay, top on, and we'll blend that till it's smooth. The next thing we're going to need to do is to strain the strain the, the soup here, or the start of the soup, I should say. We're using a fine mesh strainer here. It's called a chinois. If you don't have one of these at home, which you probably don't, um, you, you can use cheesecloth. You can strain it through a regular strainer first, and then, um, then through cheesecloth. OK, now that we've strained our soup, we're going to be uh, adding in a sweeter wine. We're using a, a Vidal wine. You could use a, a German wine, like a Moselle or a Sauterne, if you wish, or a Riesling. Um, I'm going to add in one half cup of wine to this. Stir this around here. Just adds a little, just brings out the flavor and adds a little sharpness to it. And we need to check now to see if our if we have enough sugar in here from the infusion. Actually, we just need a little bit more sugar. Of course, that's going to depend on on the, on the blueberries themselves. If they tend to be a little sweeter when they're, uh, you know, when you get them, when you buy them, uh, you you have, you may not have to add the sugar. But if you add it in too early, of course, then you can't take it out. Oh, that's much better. OK, I'm going to take this, uh, the blueberry soup here, put six ounces of it in the bowl. I think six ounces is a, is a big enough portion. We'll take our cream, which we've added into a squeeze bottle, makes it a little easier. Uh, it's a good idea to make sure you shake it. Make sure you shake it. Starting from the center, I'm going to go in a spiral fashion all the way around to the edge. We'll take a toothpick or a skewer, and then we're going to pull into the soup here. This is called sauce painting. And it just makes a real nice presentation. We'll go back the other way. And there we go. This is our blueberry basil soup.